Hallelujah. Well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastors Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Amen. Yeah. A church you can call home. Yeah. Amen. We invite you to come and be with us. Amen. Uh, where we honor God, love family, serve others, and pursue excellence. Amen. Amen. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. So we want to welcome all our NBC family, all visitors, and all those of you that are joining us by audio and yes. video. Yes. Welcome. Amen. Amen. And all we ask you to do is prepare yourselves for what God has for you. <coughs> I hope you're expecting something. Amen. Amen. I'm excited. I'm expecting. And I'm not letting go until I receive. Amen. So. Amen. Be ready to receive what God has for you. Amen. Praise God. If you don't want to receive anything, just don't pretend. <laughs> Participate. Amen. Get involved. Amen. God has something for you. Amen. God gave me this um, title for this message, and it's called Stay Mary. M-E-R-R-Y. Stay in Mary. Stay in Mary and Him. Amen. Wow. This is the season of being Mary. Merry Christmas is coming. Next week, we'll be here also. <laughs> But it's a Merry Christmas, and uh, I want to give you a, a definition of Mary. Mm. Mary, it, it means happy. Mary means joyful, cheerful, rejoicing, glad, enjoyable, in a good spirit. Oh, yeah. In a good spirit. Yeah. You get this? <laughs> Catch yourself in a good spirit at all times. Oh. Don't let the world pull you down. I think I've said this many times, but... Don't let nobody take you out of your peace. Don't let nobody take you out of your joy. That's it. Amen. Keep it. Amen. Don't let nobody take you out of it. And also, high-spirited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not talking about drunk. <laughs> I'm not talking about high on something. I'm talking about high on the most high. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. best high you can have. That's it. Amen. Man, that's the best side effects I want. Mm -hmm. Being high on the most high. Praise God. But being high-spirited. Amen. Amen. Woo. But Mary is being happy and joyful and rejoicing. Amen. Yes. Uh, staying happy. That's our title right there. The Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Man, for just from the beginning, as you get up, say, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a, a rejoiceful and a glad day today because you said it and I'm going to receive it. No matter what's happening out there, no matter no matter what's com coming against you, yes, hey, right. I've already spent time with the Father. Mm -hmm. yes. Ain't nothing gonna bring me down unless you give up, unless you quit, or you just say, you know, hey, I, not today. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just gonna take a break. Mm -hmm. Well, how many times do you think Jesus took? How many breaks do you think he took mm -hmm. when he was doing his uh, his walk here on earth? Mm -hmm. I don't think he took a break. You no. know. Hey, when he needed help, you know, when he needed strength, he went to the Father. Yes, he did. So this is our greatest example. Mm -hmm. So if he can go, if he has to go to the Father for strength, guess what? Yeah. We need to go to the Father yeah. for strength ourselves. Yes, Lord, I need your strength. I need you, Father. A lot of things out there hope, waiting. But you know what? <laughs> Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. But you got to be ready. Amen. Yes. And this is what we learned <laughs> in the military. Stay ready battle ready all the time amen not once in a while but we practice every day and we say battle ready and you know what if you if you don't know nobody ever told you you're a soldier of god and you're in a battle you're in a spiritual battle on a daily basis and if you don't spend time with him and his word meditating and studying on his word you lose yeah. because you need you need him and you need his word in this spiritual battle. Amen. Hallelujah. So stay merry. Keep going, Carmen. Let me see what else we got. Oh, yeah. Be merry and stay that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to be moody, be a, 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 a merry, moody person. <laughs> but stay that way. Don't let yourself down. Amen. And don't let nobody down, you know, because when you have an opportunity to bless somebody with a kind word, mm -hmm. to bless somebody, and say something nice to them, you know. Give them a good word instead of just talking down on them like we used to do. Not anymore. Amen. Say something good to them because the world's already put them down. There's too many people out there, you know, down and out. Oh yeah. And us adding to it, you know, it's oh, not going to help. I say, no. wait a minute, you know, I could I could do better than this. Yeah. Jesus did. So can I. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amen. Keep going. Here we go. 
we're going to talk about this. Of course, next week we'll have a Christmas message, but Jesus is the reason for this season. Mm -hmm. We're in the month of December, yes. but Jesus is the reason for the season. You know, we get too wrapped around. Let me see what I wrote here. The birth of Jesus is the reason for the season. Mm -hmm. Not the presents, not the Christmas trees, not the decorations, you know. Not to get all the type to know about. I don't have any finances, or I don't have this to give. I don't have nothing to give. And we put ourselves through all kinds of worries and all kinds of cares, you know. Put ourselves in debt, you know, trying to make each other happy with things. Yeah. You know, we don't have to go there. Amen. Just know he's the reason for the season. Mm -hmm. And when you celebrate him, you know, he's going to bless yeah. you. And it says Christians, believers, should be the most marry the most joyful people in the world Amen. why because we know the word we know the truth the truth is going to set you free yes and you should be a happy person because i know the end i know where i'm going i know where i'm headed and you know we should be the happiest people on earth they are sad they're doom and gloom you know because they're doing it for the wrong reasons but we're doing it for the right reason listen to this we're too blessed to be stressed uh -huh. We're too blessed to be stressed. We're too blessed to be sad. We're too blessed to be worried. We're too amen. blessed to be disappointed. Right, amen. Amen. When you know your God, he's going to bless you. Yeah. That's what the word of God says. So don't ex exclude yourself. Include yourself. That's right. Amen. Let me see. I'm trying to read my writing here. <laughs> <laughs> We're closing this year. And you know, this is the time of the year where... Well, I didn't accomplish this. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. You know, I've got all these things that I didn't do. And we're mm -hmm. concentrating on the past. Yeah. And, and we're bringing all this weight upon ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Where we should just say, cast it all on him. Yes. Philippians 4, 6. Yeah. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. God. Give him all these cares. Mm -hmm. And also, 1 Peter 5, 7. Write these down. Casting all your care on him because he careth for you. Yes. Okay? It's the, it's the end of the year. But mm -hmm. still, you know, if you didn't do it, then put it aside. Give yeah. it to him and press on Amen. with a new day. Press on with a new coming year. Yes. Amen. And start a new year without all this weights on right. you. Right, right. Don't bring him into the new year. Right. Amen. Amen. Or the new day. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Lord, it's yours. It's gone. Let's start fresh each and every day. Amen. Amen. And we don't have to do it just every Christmas. We do it every right. day. Every, every day. day amen. Amen. We become uh, Christians. Everything is great and smooth and easy. Mm. Our priorities change. Joy and happiness goes out and the world comes in. Mm. You know what happens? This happens to everybody. Mm -hmm. But if you don't start having, it's called relationship. If you don't have a relationship with him, you start falling out. And you start getting, let's, let's say, lazy. Oh, boy. Amen. Let, let's say lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Complacent. And, you know, complacent, yes. you know. Thank you, brother. We get complacent and we start letting the world in. Yeah. Because we're not renewing our minds. We're not spending time with him. We're not uh, having a relationship. And so we start letting, the, we let the world in. Yeah. Pretty soon we're going to start talking negative things. Mm -hmm. And the doors are open and the enemy is going to come in. Mm -hmm. The enemy comes as a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. How is he going to devour me? Well, it's the words you're speaking now. Yeah. You're speaking negative things. Yeah. And you're opening the door for the enemy, the devil, to come. Right. Amen. Amen. So we have to be careful not to give ourselves yes. up, you know, yes. and be lazy and be lukewarm. He says, I'd rather have you hot or cold, mm -hmm. but not lukewarm. That's it. Amen. The enemy knows. Yes. How does he know? You're speaking different. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. The newness goes out and the old comes in. Mm -hmm. Sins, uh, ways, uh, habits, friends, they all start coming back. Mm -hmm. They know. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> How do you know when you've been around a skunk? No, oh, boy. <laughs> it stinks. Sin stinks. Mm -hmm. You know? And you got to be careful not to hang out with the wrong mm -hmm. skunk crowd. <laughs> <laughs> stay focused, stay connected, and minds renewed on a daily basis. Minds renewed as often as you have to. Yes, yes. I didn't say once a, a day, once a day, or once a, once a month. It's as often as need to. 
I renew my mind. You know why? Because the mind is the battlefield. Yes, it is. And the thoughts are there all the time. And you can yes. think bad thoughts all the time. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So you got to be careful. Thinking about them is not bad. But doing it is oh, bad. Yeah. So you got to be careful not to give into it. So, you right. know, before you fall into it, renew your mind and get it out. Delete it. Get rid of it. Let it go. Amen. Yeah. I don't receive that no more. Mm -hmm. Too many Christians struggling through life. Mm -hmm. Too many Christians uh, living a defeated life. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's given us too much yes. for us to be defeated. Amen. You're not defeated. You're blessed by the best. Amen. Mm -hmm. You're blessed by the best. But the enemy is going to see to it to put distractions, to put things yes. in this world to try to distract you and bring you down. Don't allow yourself to be defeated. Amen. Yes. Do what God has called us to do. Amen. And change. 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 Yes. Praise God. Amen. Yes. Um, we should be joyful. We should be happy and shout in victory daily on our way to heaven. But instead we're sad, struggling, defeated, and wanting mm. a new skinny. And want to be quiet. We don't say anything. Mm. We got to speak it out. Mm. When you get the word of God in you. Man, I'm hungry, and I man, I'm stirred up, and I gotta get it out. You remember uh, I showed you before a, a little can of coke. You, no. you stir that little can up, and you open it up, and it's gonna shoot out. Mm -hmm. It's gonna just bust out. Mm -hmm. That's a Christian for you, you know. Mm -hmm. You get the word in you, stir yourself up, and man, that thing has got to come out. Mm -hmm. It's got to come out your mouth. Right. You got it means you gotta Absolutely. speak it out. Yeah. You can't hold it down. If you're holding it down, you're defeated. Mm -hmm. And you got to say it. You got to get it out. Yes. Say, well, I can't. Well, quit saying that. Yeah. Because the Bible says, I can do all things, all things. through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. Amen. So you can. Don't exclude yourself. That's Start it. confessing what the Word of God says about you. And what you can do. Amen. And who you are and whose you are. Mm -hmm. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Yes. Nehemiah 8 and 10 says this also. Mm -hmm. The latter part of the, uh, of the of the verse says this: "For the joy of the Lord is my strength." Yes. Keep going, Thank you, Lord. Well, we talked about for God so loved the world that He gave He gave us Jesus. Amen. Yes. He sacrificed. He sent His only begotten Son to be sacrificed for yes. us yes. Yes. to get us back to win us back. Amen. And Jesus came and gave His best. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. Here we go. Near my eight and ten. <coughs> That's uh, King James. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric, yeah, easy to read version says, don't be sad because mm -hmm. the joy of the Lord will make you strong. Yes. The joy of the Lord will make you strong. And we got, we think it's opposite, you know. Mm. We Joy, I'm not, I don't feel like being joyful. Mm. I want to be sad. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we got to get happy. Yeah. Sometimes we got to speak to our bodies and yes. say, be healed, be yeah. happy. Rejoice. Mm -hmm. This is what the Word of God says. I'm going to yes. confess what the Word of God says. Yes. So, I don't have to go through these things. Amen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and the Amplified says this. And do not be worried, for the joy of the Lord is your strength and your stronghold. Yes. Amen. This is what the Word of God says. Uh -huh. I'm going to stand on it, and I'm going to live it, and I'm going to do it. So, watch your words and watch your actions. Amen. Praise God. Start celebrating your life. Be joyful. Be happy. Mm -hmm. Daily. Yes. Not just when somebody says something to you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or not when somebody gives you something. Or not just once a year. Right. But daily. Yes. Daily. Celebrate your life. Be joyful and be happy on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. <laughs> be a God pleaser. Don't be a people pleaser. Right. If you're going to try to please people, you'll never be happy. <laughs> Amen. Because... They're going to take, say something. They're trying to bring you. Remember, don't, don't let them take you out of your day. Don't let them take you out of your peace. Don't let them take you out, out of your joy. Because somebody's going to be jealous. Because they see you happy. And they're going to say something. Why are you so happy? It's nothing to be happy about. But you have your peace. You know why? Because I love Jesus and he loves me. That's what I'm happy about. Amen. Woo. Come on now. <laughs> Don't just enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. The Bible says we rejoice and be glad in it. That's what the Word of God says. So I'm going to be obedient to what the Word of God says. That means I'm going to be not only here, but I'm going to be doer of the Word of God. Yeah. Amen. It's going to attract people. 
It's going to attract some. And when they come, just share with them. Amen? Yes. So, enjoy, rejoice, be glad in your day. Smile gives you a facelift <laughs> and a spiritual <laughs> lift. <laughs> it's good. Some of us need to smile more. <laughs> you know, people walk up to you and say, why are you smiling? You did something bad, huh? <laughs> no, I did something good. Amen. I spent time with my God this morning. And he said he loves me. And I'm smiling about it. Amen. It has nothing to do with doing something bad. Amen. Yeah. But that's what the world sees. That's the world. It's a counterfeit. You know? Yeah. Enemies got counterfeit for everything, you know? Get with get with Christian friends and enjoy. Get free. Just laugh and enjoy. Amen. Psalms 34 and 8 says this. And the New uh, Living Translation says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Oh, the joy of those who take refuge in Him. There's nothing sad about being on God's side. It's nothing but joy. It's nothing but good. It's a winning team. It's His winning Amen. team. I'm going to be on a, I'm on a winning team now. Amen. I used to lose all the time. Remember, remember the prodigal son. Dad give me what I, it's mine. I'm going to take off and I'm going to do my own thing. Well, he was losing men, and he lost. He says, hey, I can go back to Father. Right. Yeah, that's good. You know, some of you listening, some of you watching, you've been gone too long. You know, it's time for you to come home. It's time to come back to Father and say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He's going to take you back. He wants you. He sacrificed his son. He sacrificed Jesus for you to come back. Amen. He wants you back. Psalm 37 and 4 says, Delight. Enjoy yourself also in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. He wants to bless you, but sometimes we just don't let Him. Amen. We got to make a change and change complete. You know, I can't. You, you can't be lukewarm. You can't just straddle the fence and please the world and please God. Amen. You got to cross over and say, "I'm making total change right here. Yes. I'm making total surrender. I'm making a total commitment and serve God, my God." Amen. I'm not. Just going to stay there, you know, to please someone. I'm going to make a total commitment and please my God. Amen. Amen. And you know what? He's happy with you. Uh -huh. uh, praise God. <laughs> Psalms, uh, no, Proverbs uh, 17, 22. And you can go back and study these. Amen. Amen. A New Living Translation says, A cheerful, happy, joyful heart is good <laughs> medicine. Yeah. It's good medicine. It's good for you. You know, I don't want to be sad all the time. I've seen a lot of sad people. Oh, yeah. And you know what? There's nothing good about it. There's yeah. nothing good about it. Matter of fact, it makes you it makes you sick. It makes you mad. It just makes you not be good. Amen. But it says Proverbs 17, uh, 22, uh, New Living Translation. A cheerful, happy, joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Yes, it does. Amen. All these things you already know, but we just gotta make it. Mm -hmm. change and we gotta not just talk it live it yes god make a change live it and obey what the word says i'm mm -hmm. hearing it but now i gotta mm -hmm. obey it uh -huh. every morning when you wake up before you even get out of bed encourage you to declare out loud i am going to enjoy this day yes why because this is the day the lord has made and i will rejoice and be glad yes. in it you don't have to make it hard. It's, it's simple, but you have to do it. Amen. Yes. Be hearers and doers of his word. John 15, 11 says, uh -huh. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you yes. and that your joy yes. may be complete. Amen. Amen. This body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is where my God lives. Amen. You can't hide from him. You can't go from him. He's right there with you. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He says, I'm going and I'm going. I'm, I'm fulfilled, mm -hmm. but I'm going. But I'm going to leave. I'm going to send the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And this body, you know, no, no longer is the, is the building, the, the temple. This, this, you know, the veil was ripped from yeah. top to bottom, you know. Yeah. It was ripped from top to bottom, and that thing was about four <laughs> inches thick. Amen? So, man couldn't do it, you know. If it was from the bottom up, he said, well, some man did it. It was like when you rolled a stone, angel rolled it, and it was too big for men to do it. Yes. Amen? So, the veil was ripped from top to bottom. Amen? And he did it. Amen? Praise God. And now, 
is this body, your body, the Bible says, is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he brought you back. So this body don't belong to you. As a matter of fact, I was going to give you a definition for joy. Joy means Jesus owns you. Uh -huh. Amen. Jesus owns you. <laughs> so this belongs to him. So we need to start treating it better. Amen. Yes, we do. Decide to be joyful, happy, and smile right where you are. Bloom and be happy where God plants you. Yes. Amen. Wherever you happen to be, dream right. and right. be happy wherever He plants you. Yeah. The Apostle Paul, he spent two thirds. He wrote two thirds of the New New mm -hmm. Testament, and most of the time he was in prison. Mm -hmm. But he didn't let the prison in him. That's it. That's Amen. That's it. He didn't let the prison in him. You could be wherever you are. Yeah. Quit listening to the world. Quit listening yeah. to negative friends. Right. You know, and start listening to what God has for you. Say, praise God, I'm going to do the best I can back uh -huh. here. God has this job for me, and I'm going to do my best. Amen. Amen. And promotion is coming because he says he'll promote you. You know, don't just start thinking about, well, uh, I'm not doing good enough for, for people to promote me. Mm -hmm. No, but you do good enough. God sees, mm -hmm. and you're faithful, and he's going to promote you. That's it. You know. Somebody's the boss is going to walk up to you and say, you know, I don't know why I'm doing this because nobody else is getting a promotion. <laughs> and I'm going to promote you. I don't know why I'm doing this. Well, it's because God. Mm -hmm. It's because of God. Amen. And he's yeah. going to bless you and promote you. Yeah. Make a firm decision to enjoy your race, your mission daily. Amen. When you do, you'll begin to experience an abundance of joy, life. And Jesus died for us to give us an abundant life. He says, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. We get just not satisfied with just getting by. He says, I'll give you a life more abundantly. The enemy says, I'll come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus says, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So, you know, be careful of what you listen to. Because some people are just getting by and they're confessing the, the doom and gloom. Yeah. But I don't have to have that. I don't receive that. That's not what my God says. That's not what the Bible says. So I'm going to stand on what the Word of God says. And I'm going to have this life more abundantly. And some don't have because they're not confessing what the Word of God says. They're not confessing the truth. And they're still in doom and gloom, you know, because their mouth is getting them in trouble. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Life and death, or death and life said, are in the words you speak. So quit speaking those things. You know, you don't want it anymore, so quit saying it. If you want good things, confess the good things. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Jerry, John 10, 10, which is quoted, The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and destroy. Jesus says, I've come that you might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Uh -huh. Psalm 100 says, in verse 1, says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all you all lands, lands, all you evils. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Make a joyful noise, a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. You can say something. You can sing something. You can speak something. And yeah. make it make it joyful. Psalms 116, 11. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Mm. Man, we can have all this is ours. Yeah. Yeah. All this is ours. <coughs> Not just, you know, we just got to live it. Confess yeah. it. Speak it. Uh, Philippians 4 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. Amen. <laughs> this is December. And, you know, you're thinking, doom and gloom. Sadness. I don't have. Bible says, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. Amen. So, thank you, Lord, for bringing me this far, mm -hmm. for taking me this far. And I'm going to continue with you. Amen. And I'm going to be blessed the rest of the way. <coughs> Excuse me. First Thessalonians 5.16 says, New Living Translation. New Living Version says, Be full of joy all the time. Yeah. The, the New King James says, Rejoice always. always. Rejoice yeah. always. Amen. So, mm -hmm. I'm not going to preach you a sad message. I'm going to preach you a happy message. Amen. Be Amen. happy Amen. in Him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise Amen. God. Let me see what you got. Oh, keep going, Carmen. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you passed the other ones? Yeah. You want me to go back? Yeah. 
There we go. Well, that's good right there. Jesus is my greatest joy. Yes. You can write this down and just post yes. it somewhere where you can see it on a daily basis. Jesus is my greatest joy. And you know what? I want people to see this. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to hide it. I want people to see this. Wow, Jesus is my greatest joy. He's my greatest joy. Amen. Man, can't say enough. Amen. Praise God. Psalms 1, uh, 95 and 2 says, Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and let us shout joyfully unto him with psalms. Mm -hmm. Psalms is singing. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's okay to sing to him, you know. Mm -hmm. We sing, we learn all kind of songs, and we sing them. Yes. Why not sing to him? Mm -hmm. Amen. It's a good thing. Psalms, the book of Psalms, you know, mm -hmm. David was a great singer, and he, he wrote most of these psalms. Mm -hmm. Amen. These psalms. People, including believers, spend most of their time listening to this defeated, mm. uptight, upset, mm. overstressed, and discouraged. Mm. Don't catch yourself in this way. Yeah. That's what the enemy wants to do. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know what the enemy meant for bad? Mm -hmm. God will turn it for good. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Amen. We're going to press on from here on. Amen. Defeated, beaten, overpowered, overcome, mm. overwhelmed, and crushed. If yeah. you allow yourself. Yeah. Amen. Just get away from that. Because their joy and happiness and smile is based entirely on circumstances. That's what we do. We see in the physical. Mm -hmm. We need to see in the spirit. We need yes. to see the word. They see the wrong. Wrong job, the wrong career, wrong relationships, wrong friends, uh, wrong uh, bad habits. Mm -hmm. On circumstances. That's not what we based our joy on. Amen. We based our joy in him. Amen. Yes. The joy of the Lord is, is my strength. Yes. I'm serving him and he's going to bless me. And I'm going to be joyful and I'm going to be happy. First Peter 5 and 7 again in the expanded Bible says, Give all your worries to him. Cast all your anxieties on him because he careth for you. Amen. Again, the expanded Bible, Psalms uh, 1, uh, 55, 22. Give, cast, throw your worries, your burdens, mm -hmm. that which he has given you to the Lord yeah. and he will take care of sustaining you yeah. Yeah. he will never let good righteous people down yeah. and be moved right. he's not going to let you down he's going to fulfill his promise to you amen yeah. so but we need to also sustain and stay with him don't yes. give up don't try I'm only trying this don't say I'm going to try this you know Jesus could have came and just said well dad uh, I'm only coming to the world and I'm going to try this. You know, if they don't treat me right, I'm going to go back. I'm not going to try this. I'm going to surrender myself Amen. and complete, com be totally completed in serving Him. Amen? So, let's, let's, let's do that. Why lose our joy and smile when you can cast and give it all to Him? Amen. And we, we, we hit this uh, nail, this, uh, nail on the head quite a few times here but why lose my joy and why lose my smile uh, when we can give it all to him Amen. stay joyful keep your smile and don't let go That's it. keep your spirit keep your joyful happy smile amen and keep your amen. listen you can say it like this keep your spiritual batteries charged on a daily yes. basis uh, yes. how do I do this spending time with him yes. spending time in the word you know your car is a great tool, yeah. but you gotta have a full charge battery. Yeah. If yeah. your battery ain't charged, that's just a wasted thing just sitting there. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not a wasted thing, you know. I am, I'm gonna keep my spiritual batteries charged so that I know to confess his word yes. and speak his word, amen, yeah. and press on and press on with the things of God, amen. Yes. So no more frowns, smile only, why? <laughs> <laughs> We're fighting a spiritual battle, mm -hmm. whether you know it or not. That's it. If you're trying to fight a spiritual battle physically, you lose because physical cannot defeat a spiritual. Right. Right. You need, you need yes. Him. You need His Word mm -hmm. and confess His Word, and that's the only way. Remember, Jesus has already defeated the yeah. enemy. Yeah. So why let a defeated enemy? hold you down and hold you prisoner that's it, that's it. amen we have to confess his word this this is what jesus did this is what the word of god says so i'm going to stand on his word and confess his word and speak his word 
and the enemy has to flee. Submit yeah. yourself to God, resist the devil, yeah. and he will we'll flee, flee from you. That's, it. That's what the word of God says. So right. he's gonna have to obey what the word of God yeah. says. Amen. And last week we talked about this, but uh, we need to submit ourselves. We're not fighting flesh and blood. And the expanded Bible says this, for our fight, our conflict, our struggle is not against people on earth, flesh and blood, but against rulers and authorities in the powers or cos cosmic powers, mm -hmm. rulers of this world, of uh, world of darkness. Yes. Against spiritual powers of mm -hmm. evil in the heavenly uh, world, mm -hmm. the realms, the places. That's a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. And the only way to overcome that is with the word of God. Yes. And, right. that, and we got to keep the armor on. We talked about last week. We got to keep the whole armor of God on. Yes. And keep the armor of God on Amen. because we're fighting a spiritual battle. That's Amen. Right. That's right. Woo, hallelujah. People Amen. get happy Amen. and joyful when things going uh, their way. Uh, when things are yeah. uh, smooth and easy and comfy. No problems, no cares, mm -hmm. and no anxieties. But guess what? <laughs> when you let your guard down, yeah. the enemy comes yes, yes. to steal, kill, steal and, and destroy. destroy. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. So anyway. I'm going to stop it right there. Yeah, and uh, there's more, but we're going to hold it right there. Yeah. So be led by His Spirit, amen, and keep your joy by allowing the Holy Spirit to lead God yeah. us in the way we should go. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Praise Thank God. you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Precious Father. Did you get something? Yeah. <laughs> well, so did I. Thank you, Father. For letting us, Father, grow in your word, Father, and spend time with you yes. and to grow and go where you want us to go, Father yes. God. And thank you that uh, we take authority with the enemy and we command him to go in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Well, those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, you know, if you never accept Christ, this is the time for you. Amen. Yes. All you have to do is, is just uh, say, Father, I sin against you. Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And He'll take you back right now. Amen. Do it about faith. Yes. And you know, you're following the world right now, but you can come back and serve Him now. And He'll receive yes. you with open arms. Amen. Yes. And you can do all these things and start studying, getting in His Word, and doing what His Word says. Amen. Yes. Yes. And remember that you can do all things through Him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Father. You have sickness in your body. It's time to give it up. Because the Bible says, yes, by Jesus stripes, you're healed. Heal. Hey, Amen. I lay his hands on myself all the time. And I say, hey, you know, I don't receive this sickness. My body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. And so I receive no malfunctions in this body. My, my body, every organ, every tissue, every muscle functions to the creation the way he created it to function. Yes. But you got to speak it, you know, because your body's talking awesome. Oh, yeah. And your body's saying, <laughs> you don't feel well. Yeah. You, don't, you, you don't feel good. But I speak healing over this body yeah, uh -huh. because that's what the Word of God says. By Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Uh -huh. So body, line up with the Word of God yeah, and be healed. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So time to give. Those of you watching, those of you listening, and you still want to give your tithe, your offerings, just go look at our, our screen there, our website, NBCBigBen.com, and hit that donate button if you're mailing it, NBC. PO Box 252 Marfa, Texas 79843. Mm -hmm. And now you can do Cash App at New Beginnings Church of the Big yes. So God loves you. We love you. And uh, we'll see you next week. God bless. Love you. Bye bye.